You can easily get your Cascader animation to a contour rig in Blender with the help of the Mixamo add-on. Generally when you want to use a contour rig in Cascader it can be a headache to set it up correctly. By using this workflow you can get going in a few minutes and easily tweak your animation in Blender with the generated contour rig. Here we have the standard mailed model without any armature attached to it. First we will export our character from Blender so we can rig it in Mixamo. Drag this exported FBX file here and once it's loaded set the required points as it's shown on the side. I know this character is not in T-Pose but it still works quite well in this case. And just like that we have a fully skinned way painted character. I will download the now rig model in its original pose, but you can choose T-Pose if you prefer and import this FBX file to a new scene in Blender. And we will also need to download and install the Mixamo add-on for Blender. You can find the add-on on Adobe's website and install it the usual way. So edit, preferences, add-ons, install, select the zip and activate the add-on. What's great about this add-on is that you can create a basic control rig for your Mixamo armature with one button and also if you have an animation of a Mixamo armature you can easily apply it to this control rig by selecting the source armature with the animation and applying the animation. You can probably already see why this can be so powerful with Cascader. I will export my model to Cascada using only the deformed bones and then go to rigging mode and here the quick rigging tool should automatically fill in the bone list. You should set the correct rigid body and box controller sizes and position the point controllers if they are not correct, but I won't bore you with that. And after we generate the rig you can create the animation in Cascader and when you are ready we need to get it back to Blender. In this example I will demonstrate it with having two different animations in different scene. I'll use the Cascader bridge add-on that you can get for free to import all the scenes at once. In this case we can't use the import action option because the armature used in Cascader is different from the control armature in Blender. But we can import all of the scenes at once and then select the original control rig and select the armature from any of the imported animation to be the source armature. We will click the apply animation to control rig button and the animation will be applied to the original control rig. And we can delete the source armature and the meshes because we no longer need them. And repeat this process with all of your animations. It's also a good idea to rename these actions so you know which animation belongs to which action. The best thing about this workflow is that you can use Blender's tools to clean up your animations. Just to give you some examples, you can reduce the keyframes in the graph editor here in the key decimate option. This will make the animation more manageable by having less keyframes. You can also smooth out the curves here to remove any possible jitter from the animation. For example, you can select the hand controller and just smooth out the curves so there are no sudden changes. Also also in the graph editor with the proportional editing you can modify the animation, for example make the character kick higher or lower by moving the IK controller of the leg higher or lower and anything else you want really. If you want to give this method a try you can download the scene files that I used in this video and I'm also really interested in what workflow you guys are using with Cascader or what would you be interested in. Let me know in the comments down below and see you in the next one.